So, my name is Gopa Kumar. Um, I work for Aditya Finance. Aditya Bala Finance is part of Aditya Bala Capital. We offer solutions in four domains: protecting, investing, financing, and advising. Aditya Bala Finance is providing solutions like personal loans, SME loans, and corporate loans. Now, we also have a product based on a uh, digital platform. So, if you look at um, if you look at today, the banking scenario or financial services scenario is changing across the country, right? We are all part of this change. We are all part of this uh, great revolution. So, we see that today, banking uh, branch-based banking is changing to a different level. Apart from banking, branch-based banking, we also have different new channels opened up. It could be mobile-based banking or mobile-based financing, and you also have various other means like you have um, uh, EDC machines where you are actually providing services. You have on website you are providing services. So, in the country, we are seeing that a revolution is being taking place. Now, considering this, we have created a platform based on public cloud. Um, we offer on the platform we offer term loans, personal loans, and finance, and also we integrate with various uh, partners for offering products through their platform. Coming to and in turn we provide services to the customers. Uh, the platform is built completely on public cloud. Uh, we use uh, various cloud components uh, from uh, infrastructure as a service, IIS, software as a service, or platform as a service, all these things are knitted together in this platform. Um, you can say that it is a Lego based architecture which is like various components are tied together and it is completely modular and microservices based. We use a lot of API to tie these services together and create the platform. Um, there are a lot of integration we have done. For example, uh, we are in finance space, so we offer, we created the core platform for financing. However, if you look at, you also have content management requirements, you also have lead management requirements, or you have CRM requirements. So for those, we use SaaS services from within the AWS ecosystem or outside. At the same time, if you look at, a lot of people have today worry about security. How do we secure our information or platform on cloud? So we have created a cloud security policy and adopted various solutions, fraud risk management solutions available in the ecosystem to uh, reduce fraud or handle the cases or automate overall process in the journey. So for example, when you apply a loan today in a branch based scenario, you have a lot of paperwork involved. How do you reduce it in, 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 in a digital ecosystem? So for that, we use a lot of solutions available within the AWS ecosystem and outside to integrate in this overall architecture. OK, so how do we end up in cloud? cloud? So um, if you look at it on, on on-prem infrastructure today, so if you have to start a project, it goes through the various approval cycles, right? You have a capex approval required. You then you have to take um, uh, risk approvals and various aspects, right? So we have done all these things to ensure that our project uh, is meeting all these requirements. The first thing is that how do you decide what cloud product is suitable to you? Now uh, you do a due diligence process. First of all, we are a platform or we the product is born in cloud. When you are born in cloud, you use the cloud features pretty well and you use extensively. Now, when we looked at it, we are using open source products. We using um, using a lot of cloud features. So the cloud service provider should be able to provide us the features and functionalities and assurance required for us to run the project on the cloud. So that's where we evaluated AWS and other service providers. We also looked at that the cloud service provider is able to provide us assurance and security aspects required for us to run the project. For example, is the service, service provider certified for ISO 27001? Are the PCADS certified? All these aspects. We also looked at governance. What kind of governance is required to run the uh, product on the cloud? One of the most important aspects when you go to cloud is governance. Why governance? 
because um, cloud is something like you know it's very powerful it's like you are hiring let's say um, you are um, hiring a, uh, a commando in in an armed forces are you going to give him an ak47 and say that okay you go and start your duty from day one you're not going to do that so how will you you first of, first of all you are going to take him through the process you are going to sh uh, to train him that what are the rules what are the conditions through him he has to operate where all he has to where all he has to follow the commands and guidelines so all these things you first of all you are going to train him and then he goes to the duty now similarly when you adopt a cloud it's powerful you have most powerful tools available which you, you typically you are not available in a, in a physical environment and in a physical environment it takes time for you to onboard them in a cloud you are able to quickly adapt to these tools and start going now so that's where governance is very critical so we set up a governance process internally how do we adopt cloud architecture how do we adopt cloud applications and how do we manage them the next one was how do we control the cloud services so first thing is that architecture defining a clear architecture for your product now when you say that okay i am going to launch a public service it means that you have to define your security layers well the security layers means that you will have a public site you will have people coming inside and and uh, accessing data you will be you will have support partners accessing your information or infrastructure for them how what is the architecture are you going to use things like a web application firewall an api how it is going to be published is it an internal site or an external site according to that this will change the last part is that how do you manage compliance and audit you will have internal and external auditors coming in you will have stat auditors internal auditors coming in and auditing in various aspects right so how do you manage their requirements how do you going to provide the artifacts or evidences that yes you are managing it well you are you are maintaining the logs you are maintaining the audit trails etc so as i as i mentioned before the first thing for us it was to set up the policies and processes very very clearly policies means that we know how change management how incident management how uh, monitoring will take place and second piece is that the setting up standards and procedures right the standards means if you are creating a vm or an ec2 instance how you are going to set it up are you going to cs compliant compliant ec2 instance or you are going to use your own custom um, hardening standards which you you already have in the organization similarly you also set up procedures to do take backups and uh, you set up uh, thing do things like how do you patching all these aspects the next piece is that you also do awareness your team should be able to configure these things and assess the security posture well so you ensure that the team who handling the cloud infrastructure and application should understand that the product well and the configurations well second second step is that the development life cycle when you set up uh, in the development life cycle of the product you design first right in the design process you have to ensure that what service is internal what is external and if the service you are publishing how the layers have to take place for example you have a public site you will employ a waf you will employ a api gateway or you employ a, a um, vpn server right so your layers have to be clear so in the development life cycle or design life cycle if you are taking care of these things you will avoid iterations or you will you will not make mistakes and in turn what happens is that you are you you will not actually rip and replace things you know it is set one funds for all the next piece is that when you are inserting a new technology for example you are adopting redshift or you are inserting the like kinesis for your data science projects you have to ensure that you configure the technology well the the roles you define the technology configurations everything is is gracefully in, embedded into the architecture and last piece we all know how do we maintain a security posture right we maintain anti malware vulnerability management etc so this is how we what we have done so one side you have devops you use a lot of tools right you use ec2 redshift glue all, all that this is a partial list for us and once you you are 
clear about what all services you have to use then you define the layers which all layers you are going to use to get the services published or get the, your users inside so you you will use depending upon the needs you will use active directory for authentication of the application or you use deep security which is for um, host uh, and malware and file integrity monitoring you will use web application firewall to expose your application outside etc next piece is monitoring and governance now um, some of the things already miles talked about for example uh, guard duty guard duty helps you to actually detect anomalies in your infrastructure for example uh, somebody is connecting to at home from home but uh, his ip is coming from a us ip so which is abnormal case he is working from india such cases obvious very very obvious security issues it helps you to understand another one is that what we, i will talk about is messi Messi helps us to you to uh, look at uh, the data which is sitting out of there in S3 buckets or uh, other places that if you are dumping any sensitive information into these S3 buckets, if you are doing that, you are able to actually understand that that your log log information contains sensitive uh, information like PAN, Aadhaar, etc. Or somebody made a mistake of dumping these files into an S3 bucket. Um, some of the other tools we use like cloud trail trusted advisor all these things help us to understand what is a posture what is are you maintaining the cloud infrastructure clearly are you maintaining the cloud infrastructure according to your standards and policy set the last piece is that security tools now in your developer life cycle you will have especially in cloud you will have you will be doing continuous release right sometimes you will have weekly release or every every week you will have two releases in such cases you need to assess the you time to assess the application before you make it live is less typically typically in on premise infrastructure you will have 3 months 6 months so your time to actually assess the security of the project you get a, get a ample amount of time but in this case your time is limited because you are moving on cloud very fast so you are able to use a lot of tools from aws itself for example we use kali linux for scanning the applications we use aws inspector and ss for scanning the ec2 instances we create um, and we use config rules to get alerts in case a configuration mistake happened and we want to get a notification that okay somebody opened up an s3 bucket which is public okay such cases we use config rules to get a notification we also use other things like lambda which wherein you can let's say you are compliant to cis so uh, using lambda you can actually assess how, where do you stand in terms of cis compliance uh, you all can also use sns which will help you to get notifications uh, related to like, any security issues or any misconfigurations you uh, on the cloud lastly what we learned from um, our implementation uh, governance is very critical right uh, you if you don't set up the processes right big, uh, right from the beginning you will have to reinvent it for example uh, um, if you have a, a large environment coming up how many aws accounts you would need you need a management account you need a development account you need a product account how many accounts you would need how many subnets you need all these things you design right from the beginning and that's where your governance is very critical second is that you should have a cloud security company you should be able to map your management to iso 27001 processes which will ensure that you are existing processes are also able to take care of your cloud deployments and next one is that design the cloud infrastructure well you should right from the beginning when you are starting your project the cloud infrastructure design should be in place otherwise what happens is that let's say that you are keeping your public servers and private servers in the same segment you will have to change it again the url could change and if let's say you are you are publishing the application directly through ec2 you are not using a web application firewall you have to change again so right from the beginning if you configure or design the infrastructure well these repeat exercises can be avoided um next is that um you embedding your security process into devops so the developer should understand that cloud is a powerful tool 
you should uh, sensibly you should use it uh, with great care um, for example if you are making a s3 public bucket for sen storing sensitive information or s an administrator putting a backup of your rds database into an s3 bucket which is public it's a wrong configuration so they should be aware that these kind of mistakes should be avoided last is that train your team so you have a team which is administrators you have a security operations team you have developers also so all these teams should be aware about your policies processes and how to use the services when a service is required how to approach and where to approach if there is a misconfiguration how do you handle it how do you inform the security operation team how to gracefully control it so the training of the team awareness is very important lastly um cloud is a, is a, is a place where you get a lot of power the powers has to be with power you have responsibility right but more than responsibility you need to use it responsibly so that you avoid mistakes so overall if you look at it the governance piece and architecture piece becomes extremely important as you onboard on cloud thank you very much